Hi everyone. Okay, so today I am having Subway. If you follow me on Instagram, I um asked you guys if uh, if I should do if I should eat Subway for next mukbang, and majority of the people, like eighty percent of people, said yes. So I'm like, okay, well, I haven't had it for a while, anyways. And I've been moving since this morning, and you guys know I pack everything so I can't cook. So, rest of this week I'll be probably um, doing a lot of carry out or just kind of fast food. So, I got the sweet onion chicken teriyaki and steak and cheese. And some barbecue chips, my favorite. Open it. And I have some Fanta. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is oh. let's see. So I have but this one is a chicken teriyaki. Mm. And this one is the, what is this? Oh yeah, steak and cheese. Um, so both of them I got in, uh, so if you guys, if you guys never been to Subway before, before you get to choose, um, there are actually options of which, what kind of bread you want. And I got honey oats and they have like regular ones. They have flat bread, but, um, I usually go with honey oats Just like that. So I'll show you guys the inside. So hopefully it doesn't spill. But this one, this is the um, sweet onion chicken teriyaki. Looks like that. Yeah, right? I got cucumber, onions, olives, lettuce, and the sweet onion sauce. And I have the cheese and steak. Yum! Mmm. 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 I actually never tried the steak and cheese before. It's pretty good. You know those, um, if you watch a lot of the Korean, um, eating shows, and you know those people who eat a lot, like, I mean, like, it kind of like, who, you know those people, those, um, YouTubers, or, like, the people on the live stream, you know how they eat a lot? Like, it could serve 10 people, um, those people, you know... I mean, yeah, they have fast metabolism. I'm pretty sure they're they look different <laughs> inside, but um, they don't chew a lot. They like literally take a bite. Mm -mm. Mm. That's it. Like that's how they eat. So I feel like that kind of helps them to eat faster and a lot more. But you know, I know that they have a faster metabolism. They and the they the way they digest things is different.
Um, um, yeah, as you guys can see, I cleaned a lot of it. I packed a lot of it. Um, majority of the stuff, you know, like I have drinks. I'll probably finish before I move out. And the flower. And just a couple of my, um, like, uh, beauty stuff, like beauty tools, makeup, you know, skin, skin things, um, the skin lotion, moisturizers, um, that will, that I will take later, but I just have to pack my computer and my equipment, like video, um, filming equipment, and, um, I have to take, so I have, including the vanity, I have two other tables. <laughs> Which I have to take apart by Thursday night, and then I should be good to go. I had so much fun packing yesterday. I had um um her what's her name um that's heart. Yeah, I heard I had her vlogs on all day. I was just watching her. I don't know those are I really like those kind of videos because it's a good like background noise. I really like that. I don't know if it, some of you guys do it, but I love doing that. So I had that on all day, like my room, my living room, or my parents' living room. And I was cleaning out everything. I'm almost done packing. I just have to... I'm going to start taking this table down or this vanity. I'm going to take it apart. Probably to... What is today? Is it Wednesday? Oh. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm going to take this down today. And tomorrow, I will film one more in this house. And I'm going to take everything apart. And I should be good to go. I really don't like the like the last bite of the any kind of sandwiches or even burger burger. There's like nothing on there. And this one is the chicken teriyaki. I used to I had a phase where I hate it. I used to hate eating so bad because I wanted so much in here, like lettuce and olives and like I wanted everything in here so like my sandwich just got really big. And obviously it's hard for them to kind of um hard for them to kind of stay in shape, right? So every time I try to eat it everything fall apart and I hated it. I hated that feeling. I don't know why. So I stopped eating so bad for a while. But I guess, you know, sometimes you just crave it. Mm. So it took one box to pack all my clothes. Oh, there's still some in my um my car, but that's being fixed right now. Hopefully, I can pick that up before I move out. Um, but yeah. And it took about three boxes to unpack um, all of my kitchen tools, so... And I'm not even done packing it. It's just like, you know, like, place, they take up a lot of space. They're all in different shape, and they get heavy, so I don't want to, like, make... I don't want to, like, fill it up to the top, because I don't want the boxes to break. So, I feel like my room is kind of echoing right now. I feel like my room is kind of echoing right now because I don't have a lot anymore.
So, <clears throat> if many people, so you, I don't know if a lot of people saw my older videos. <clears throat> but if you look at my older videos, I had a lot of carryouts and, you know, I always order something. And, you know, I started to cook more. And I feel like 90% of my videos are cooking. And, you know, this week, like, I can't cook. And I've been doing, I, this is my, what did I eat yesterday? Oh, yesterday I made, like, noodles and today I'm eating this. And I didn't realize how <laughs> easy to prepare for this, um, prepare to film. When I'm doing cooking, um, I wake up and I start preparing for the, to film the videos. And it takes about two hours maybe like maybe yeah, two hours i wake up and i get everything together when prepping itself takes two about two hours and then i'm talking about setting up the camera setting up the microphone and getting all the food together make sure everything is in frame you know that takes about two hours sometimes more but like this you i just i mean i still have to do the um, microphone and camera um even when i'm doing carry out but you know i just fire i literally just set it in front of me so it takes me a little less but which feels a little nice, but, you know, next week, I promise I'll get back into cooking. Because, you know, I, my, um, I watch other people's mukbangs, too. You know, I watch it myself. But I realize that I like to see them cooking. And I'm not talking about like starting from scratch cooking, but like kind of like putting everything together cooking. It's so entertaining to me. And for me, when I watch other people's like semi home cooking, semi home cooking, I think I learn more of, I, I gain more ideas instead of like actually trying to learn the recipe. Like if I want to really learn the recipe, if I want to learn Korean, I usually go on the Korean website because they have so many, so many different um, recipes. But you know, if I want to watch it on YouTube, I go to Mangchi. I'm so I know all of you guys, all of you guys know Mangchi because everyone, a lot of people mention it to me in my comment. But yeah, if I want to really learn like the legitimate from scratch recipe, I go to Mangchi. If it's Korean, you know. I feel like compared to the recipes that I see on YouTube nowadays, Mangchi is very authentic and very original to her recipes. Which is good because I feel like that's in that way you get to taste like the original Korean dishes where whereas in today's recipes it's like very modern modernized and it's very like fusion, very a lot of twist to it. Because, for example, like tteokbokki, you know, spicy rice cake. Even when I was in Korea, which was like 15, 16 years ago, they didn't, see, there, no one, I don't think anyone thought of putting cheese on it. Like, whenever, because whenever I ended school, I would go to like a, like a stand, like a tteokbokki stand. And, you know, you would pay like 30 to 50 cents. And literally, it came with the spicy cake, the sauce, and the fish cakes. That's it. Like, I feel like the cheese is, like, a must. Like, I feel like you can't... I feel like a lot of people don't eat the spicy rice cakes without cheese anymore. But I think I remember seeing Mang Chi's, um spicy cake recipe. But, um, I don't... Yeah, she didn't put cheese on it. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I remember, she thought she didn't. I feel very weird calling her Mangchi because she's so much older than me, and I'm not gonna call my mom by her name. Like that's very American style in Korea. You don't. There's a formal way of talking to older people. And.
I feel I'm sorry if I'm like if I sound rude by calling her Manchi, but that's like her YouTube name. I don't know her real name. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, if you love Subway. <laughs> um, um, and uh, yeah, and I still have the giveaway open right now. It's just um, like a pack of the super spicy noodles and the the black instant black bean noodles, you know, like my previous video, I mixed them together. So if you guys are into spicy food, make sure to enter the giveaway. I think I will have it open until next week. Yeah, thanks for watching. And I wish me luck for my move because I had to do it alone. Because everyone's working. Because, okay, so sorry. I, to, I should really end this video. But where I'm moving, they have, um, they, they need the uh, maintenance guy to be there uh, to supervise me. Because um, they said... Because it's a fairly new building, they want to protect the elevator, so they have to like set everything up, and they're actually reserving an elevator just for me. But I get four hours of that, um, so I have to do everything. Like, as you know, I have to do, I have to move in um, like the big furniture as much as I can within the four hours. And my parents are working, and my boyfriend is working, but he is actually gonna help me for like an hour or so during his lunch break. So um, hopefully everything is smooth. Um, if you guys have any ideas to uh, make my move easier, please let me know. It would help so much and I would appreciate it so much. So um, thank you guys. I love you guys. Um, thanks for all the support that you guys are giving me all the time. Even though I eat sloppy and I eat a lot. Sometimes I slurp, chew, um, mumble. But uh, you guys still, some of you guys still love me for who I am. So I really appreciate that. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.